Do you ever feel as if time is going too fast? Like when you were younger, the summer seemed to last forever, but now that you're older, years go by in the blink of an eye. Well, we're here in Seoul, South Korea, and we're gonna teach you guys how to slow down time. With science. Science fingers. <laughs> <laughs> From a neurological perspective, every time you encounter something new, your brain tries to record as much information as possible. And Korea is a perfect place for new experiences because it's a little bit crazy here and there's never a lack of surprises. So we're here with Simon and Martina from Eat Your Kimchi to try out some crazy new things and teach you the science behind memory and experiences. We've got some stuff in store for you. I'm not sure if you're ready for this. Prepare your taste buds. All right, so we're ready to go. Are you guys ready? Are you sure you're ready? <laughs> Bring it out. I don't think so. <laughs> I'm kind of nervous. Okay, in Korean, we're gonna we're gonna do like the traditional start. Shizak. Uh, oh wow, that's mm. smelly. <laughs> Ew. Go okay, for sorry, it. What do you think it is? Like dried skin. <laughs> Come to Korea, where you can enjoy just is dried this a skin. No. There's oh, tea. No, nothing. Anything. Okay. That's, that's an eyeball. An eyeball. No. <laughs> it's like a fry. Ketchup on a fry. All right. Hope you guys have strong jaws. Cheers. Uh, <laughs> what? Before it goes. Oh my god. All in. Chew it. Go for it. Mm. It's not edible. It's plastic. It, yeah, it is. You gotta chew it. Oh, it's it's edible. It definitely is like a dog toy or something. Uh, uh -uh. <laughs> this is my dog edible. Would love this. Actually, this is a really bad one. This is a pretty bad one. <laughs> this is a pretty bad one. Oh, oh, right it's like squid. Oh, there you go. This is yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. When you experience something new, thousands of neurons are stimulated, which help to code and store information. It's the first time that you experience something that the brain remembers the most. This creates greater detail and slows down your perception of time. What is cheers? Kanbe. Kanbe. One of my least favorite things in Korea. Neptune's anus is how That's I like to describe it. <laughs> it tastes like what? malt vinegar or no. something. It tastes like like some sort of cherry coke mixed with something else, like <laughs> like foot, like sour. like yes. a foot, like a <laughs> foot. Yeah. 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 We took cherry coke and then we mixed it with things that were disgusting. <laughs> yeah. It's almost like when you get a really heavy dark. I'm beer. surprised that you're still going at it. You're just like, <laughs> what what is it? Like, like, what is it? Mind is at work. They're trying to figure out what it is. But it's, it's like, like a taste like can, like something. It tastes like Coke's gone bad, which yeah. takes like forty nine okay. years. Yeah. <laughs> According it's, to uh, actually what this video. is, it's barley soda. You are really close. Oh, oh here we go. Oh, that's for you too. Bondage. Little tiny forks. What is that? Oh, 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 oh. No, you guys all the way. The washroom? Do you need a bag? Do you need a that is disgusting. Oh my God. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Suddenly, he's no longer Korean. <laughs> okay. He's holding his throat like. <laughs> we experience most of our firsts during the earlier portions of our lives, which contributes to that overwhelming feeling that so much more happened when you were young. Whether it's your first kiss, or your first time trying booze, or even your first time trying kimchi, we often encounter more experiences when we're at a younger age. That's why when you look back on your childhood, it just feels like there are all these epic memories that happened. It's good for health. Are you sure? I'm sure, sure we've done this, done this like many times. This sounds good, but like, yeah, like this is good for us. Very gently unfolded. Ew! There's the piggy. There okay. Are you ready? Okay. Is it poison? No, uh, not poison. It's just a little bitter. <laughs> oh my god, this is so crazy. Oh my god, <laughs> I love it. Yeah. I feel okay. like Animal Lecter. <laughs> I wish exactly what we said when we used this. Okay, no, no. Three, two, one, turn. <laughs> <laughs> you look like you're wearing a human face. <laughs> yeah, it looks like someone you ripped your like skin off. The musical. Oh, I want to go to a met. Oh, that's the wrong musical. Yeah, that's, that's right. That's sorry. <laughs> yours is a lot more disturbing than the title. Yeah, oh, yours looks like your skin mirror. is ripped off. The first time you commute to a new job, it will seemingly take forever. Your brain will be processing everything around you and encoding the information. As you repeat this commute, your brain will be using less energy, and now the commute will seem very boring and seem to fly by. So this is why if you want to slow down time, you have to continue to try to find new experiences. Learn a new language or travel to a country you've never been to before. Eat a food that you've never smelt before in your life. This will simulate new parts in your brain and help you feel as if time is moving slower. Obviously traveling is a way to you know, have new experiences and slow down time. So do you have any examples of times where you've been traveling and maybe thought, whoa, this is a crazy new experience? I remember when we first arrived in Korea and we were in like our experimentation mode of finding foods and we couldn't read Korean at the time. Mm -hmm. So we really wanted to try like Korean barbecue. You know, like some gap salad is like this really 
big thing. So we went in, we couldn't read anything, we just like picked from the menu the expensive <laughs> thing that we the meat. Yeah. And we were so excited, they came out and they put down a giant pile of jiggling pig fat. <gasps> like I mean, layers and layers and layers of just oh. raw pig skin. <laughs> yeah. And the two of us were like, this doesn't seem right. I, this isn't the meat that I, that remember. I remember, this is all jiggly fat. And oh. we were like, we can do this. Like, and he's like, you should start eating it now. And it didn't look <laughs> at all. It just yeah. looked like it was barely even like warm. Uh. And I was like, it's like biting into a pig. So we took a bite of it. Mm. And the texture of biting into like pig's fat is mm. just something I'll never forget. Yeah. And we tried to chew it and they're all like, Oh, no. And it was one of those things where, you know, when you have a decision in your mind, you're like, do I spit this out or right. do I just like go like <laughs> and swallow it without chewing any further? Yeah. So we did that. Uh, and then we were like, what are we going to do? We can't insult I can't eat this people. entire plate. Yeah. You know? So then we devised a plan that I would call Simon from under the table mm -hmm. and then he'd pick it up and be really dramatic. So I, I phoned Simon. Uh, phoned no me, way. And he so I get the phone like, what? Really? Where are you? And I'm like, what do you mean, Simon? <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, hold on. Hold on. Are you safe? Are you okay? Okay, I'm gonna be there. We Ten minutes. Go. Ten minutes. Like, pregnancy. I gotta go. <laughs> yeah. I call the waiter over, like, ah, oh, takeout. Can we get this takeout? We, I, I have oh, to go oh right gosh, now. Yeah. So then he, he's like, oh, what a yeah. so yeah. smart. Yeah. So then he like wrapped it up in tin foil and gave us a bag, and we ran out. We paid, of course, and then we ran out of the shop. And then we walked around with a big bag of uh, big bag. Yeah. So thank you so much for those weird new experiences. <laughs> yes. Time like, definitely slowed down yes. and it feels like we've been here for hours. Uh -huh. Well, it's gonna go on a little bit longer because we wanna take you guys out into public and head to a really good barbecue place mm -hmm. and see how much you can handle drinking. We're gonna teach you how to drink Korean style. Yeah. Oh gosh, okay, so we'll put a link in the description to the video over on Simon and Martinez's channel called Eat Your Kimchi or you can click the annotation and we will see you over there. Make sure you subscribe to them and check it out. It's gonna be fun. Come here.